My name is Mike Porter. Had a good workout today with my buddy Jeff at uh, Grayling Fitness Center. Uh, I'm 5'10", weigh about 186 right now. Uh, this coming Saturday I will be seven weeks out from my first uh, natural pro show. It's been uh, three years since I competed. The last time I competed I did three NGA shows. Um, one was in Peoria, which I won. One was in Philadelphia that I won and one was in Kentucky and I won that one as well. Um, this year I'm competing in uh, three different organizations, the PNBA, the NGA, and IPE. So it should be some pretty good competition this year. Um, so yeah, just came over to do a nice video with Jeff, run through one of my workouts as we get close to the show. Okay, go ahead and uh, take us through your workout today, bud, and tell us what you <coughs> For my workout, I work with, uh, with Cliff Wilson. He does my diet, nutrition, workouts, um, pretty much everything. And uh, so the workout I'm doing is a workout he gave me. And I've got my cheat sheet here because it's different each week so I can remember what exactly I did. Um, so today was shoulders and arms. So I started off with uh, hammer shoulder press. And I did uh, kind of high reps, did 15 reps where the weight was, you know, moderate. 60 pounds and I did 70 pounds for 10. Then I did 75 pounds for eight, and then I drop setted or supersetted with uh, with 50s for 10 reps. After that, I supersetted that actually with uh, kind of bent over flies. And again, it was 15, 12, eight with uh, 25 pounds. After that, moved into dumbbell laterals, and uh, the rep range was 10, and I did 35 with that each time. After that, um, moved into a little bit of triceps, so I did some dumbbell skull crushers, and uh, I did sets of 15, 10, 8, drop, 8. So I started with 35 pounds, went up to 40. Then I did 45, and I dropped it down to 30 for my superset. Um, after that, I did dumbbell alternating standing curls for biceps. And uh, again, the rep range is kind of a little higher. I did 12, 8, 6, drop, 6. So again, I went from uh, 40 pounds up to 50 to 65, down to 35 for the drop. Um, after that, I did tricep extensions on the V-bar, and uh, that was supersetted, or I'm sorry, the dumbbell alternating curls were supersetted with triceps. So again, the alternating curls um, were 12, 10, 8 into a superset of tricep extensions, or tricep pushdowns, was 15, 12, 8, drop, 10. Um, so that's hitting both sides of the arm, really fatiguing it, as you'll see in the video. Get quite the pump doing it. Um, after that, it was uh, machine bicep curls. Just, uh, again, higher rep. I had to do sets of 12, 10, 8, drop, 10. So again, I did uh, 70 pounds, 80 pounds. Then I did 90 pounds, and I dropped it down to 40 for that super set. Once I was done with that, I did uh, dumbbell overhead um, extensions for triceps. And again, it was... 15, 10, 6, drop 6, so started relatively light and went pretty heavy. As you'll see in the video, I really struggled on the last couple, uh, but I did nah, 75 pounds, 85 pounds, and then the last one was 90 pounds for 6 reps, and I dropped it down to 70 for the uh, superset. The last exercise I did was dumbbell hammer curls, which really just kind of fatigued everything. Um, I did 50 pounds for a set of 12. I did 60 pounds for a set of 10. And the last one was a drop set. So I did uh, 70 pounds for six, and I think it was 50 pounds or 40 pounds for my drop set of eight. So and that uh, concluded the workout. After that, we just did a round of posing a couple times because the lighting wasn't right. But that's good practice. <laughs> Get me ready for my shows. So that's what uh, Jeff put me through. So Cliff Wilson, if you are a serious bodybuilder, I would highly recommend him. He's not going to take you on unless you are a very serious bodybuilder. Um, he has very high expectations and he wants people that, I guess, are really serious about the sport. That being said, um, he will push you, he will motivate you, and he will get you to the best potential that you have. Um, he is a phenomenal coach. Uh, he doesn't sugarcoat anything, uh, but he's one of those guys that he's got an answer for everything and that he's also got a paper or something to back up what he says, so he does his research. Um, he also does seminars, um, and he trains people all over the world, so he's a very highly accredited um, coach. So if anybody's looking for an excellent coach, I would definitely recommend Cliff. 
Uh, but you better get on the waiting list because he's got a decent waiting list and a lot of competitors that want to work with him. So. Uh, I worked with Cliff last time, which would have been three years ago for my three shows. And then I started working with him uh, February 1st this year. So I've been dieting with him since February 1st. And here we are, middle of June. For my first show will be August 3rd um, in Chicago. Okay. And what, you know, uh, how did you get into bodybuilding? Bud? Just a quick... How I got into bodybuilding? Well, that's funny because we're working out at Grayling Fitness Center. The owner, Rich Farrigan. Um, I'd always worked out. And uh, Rich had always kind of pushed me, saying, hey, why don't you do a show? And I just was always scared I wasn't big enough. Uh, and, and finally, I just said, all right, let's, let's give it a whirl. So Rich helped me with the diet. And the first show I did was the Grand Travers Bodybuilding Show back in uh, 2009. And I actually won it. So then two weeks later, we went down to Flint. And I think I took second place in the middleweight division. And, and I was pretty much hooked after that. Um, so yeah, Rich kind of he helped me out with the diet, with posing, with everything. Because as you get into bodybuilding, it's not just something you could jump into. You need somebody to kind of coach you, give you some pointers, because there's a lot that goes into it. It's not just jump on stage and flex. There's posing, there's nutrition, there's pretending like it doesn't hurt when you're, you're flexing. So there's a lot. Anyone you like to thank, bud? I'd like, first of all, I'd like to thank my buddy Jeff right here for helping me out. But yeah, I would like to really thank uh, Cliff Wilson. He's done a phenomenal job with me. Obviously, my wife for putting up with me. Um, your energy level as you get close to a show just it, it plummets so you just don't feel like doing a whole lot um, friends and family it's yeah you do have a surprise on the way, right? That, that's right yep my wife is actually due with twins uh, our due date is, is October 23rd which could make it interesting for my last show <laughs> so typically twins come they say three weeks early which puts it close to October 1st and my last show tentatively is scheduled for September 14th so uh, again, we're going to play that one by ear. I'd love to, to do that one because it's in my home state of Michigan. It's in Grand Rapids. Um, but again, that's not as important as the, the two, two little bundles of joy coming. So. <laughs>